The 31st edition of the Hamptons International Film Festival is right around the corner and it's not to be missed. Here with what to expect is the festival's artistic director, David Nugent. Welcome back. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, Sarah. So 31 years of this festival. I love this festival uh, because I love that it's out east and not all of them are. What do you think makes this one unique? Well, I think out east is being one of the things. As you know, it's such a beautiful place to be. It's a perfect time of year to be there. We've yeah. got such passionate, uniquely influential audiences out there. And it's a really intimate setting. So when you're there with the talent that make these films, you, you really kind of feel like you're in this small, special community with them. Yeah, everyone gets to be a part of it. Um, and the, the festival always gets these huge movies before they come out in theaters. So what is actually opening the festival this year? What's opening night? So this year we're opening with Nyad, the East Coast premiere of the film about the endurance swimmer Diana Nyad, and it's the directorial debut of a feature film by Jimmy Chin and Chai Vazirhelyi. And we've got some special guests coming from it. Diana Nyad, when she turned 60, decided to swim from Cuba to Florida. Oh my. And it's pretty incredible. And yes, this film I chronicles that. that. Yeah. yeah. You also have projects that highlight hometown icons, and you're doing something this year on Paul Simon. We are. Alex Gibney, who's had a number of films at our festival, who's really one of the greatest living documentary filmmakers. His new film is really the defining project about Paul Simon, and we're so excited about it. Paul Simon, it's going to cover everything in his life from his childhood, his time with Garfunkel, his solo career, and then his time here in 30 Rock when he was uh, on uh, SNL all the time. So we're really yeah. excited about that. And he's going to do one of our Conversations With programs. So this yeah. is something we've been doing since the first year when Steven Spielberg sat down with Martin Scorsese to talk about their careers. Yes. We've had a lot of icons do it since. We're really happy Paul Simon's going to do it with us this year. And who's doing the talk with him? So Dave Fear, who's a great journalist from Rolling Stone, is going to do it this year. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and one of the movies um, that is highly anticipated for fall is May, December, right? Yeah. What well, can you tell me about it? Sure. It's directed by Todd Haynes, who's one of my all-time favorite filmmakers. And it's sort of a look at the Mary Kay Letourneau case that took place years ago. Yeah. Stars Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman. And Todd Haynes is going to receive our director award this year. And we're going to do a conversation with him as well. So I think people are going to love that film. Yeah. You guys also find like new breakthrough talent too. So who do you have your radar on this year? So yeah. We've been doing that for years. We've had everyone from Jessica Chastain, Emily Blunt, Alexander Skarsgård, Riz Ahmed, a lot of great actors and, and filmmakers that have come through. Last year, Stephanie Shu, who went on to be nominated yeah. for Everything Everywhere All at Once. And this year, we have Celine Song, who's coming out with her breakout film, uh, Past Lives, which we're going to do a screening of and give through our, her Breakthrough Artist Award and sit down oh, and talk to cool. her as well. Oh, so many fun things to do. What's actually closing the festival this year? So this year, we're going to close with Maestro, which is Bradley Cooper's oh, yes. film. It's follow-up to A Star is Born, and it's about the New York Phil's legendary uh, conductor, Leonard Bernstein, yeah. uh, and a look at his career, not only his music, though, but also his relationship with Felice de, uh, de Montalegra, who's played by Carrie Mulligan, who gives really one of the best performances I've seen all year. And we've, along with uh, that film and many others, we have a lot of special guests coming this year. Very cool. I'm really excited about seeing that one, too. Yeah. So, so many things to see, so many things to do. The 31st Hamptons International Film Festival is October 5th through the 12th. Tickets are now on sale at HamptonsFilmFest.org. Thanks, David. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too, Sarah.